of entertainment this Christmas Day on ITV. At five past six, the return of James Bond. What the hell is going on? Roger Moore in pursuit of the man with a golden gun. Oh, no. You're that secret agent. At 8.30, Christmas night with Morecambe and Wise. You've done it again, haven't you? It doesn't show, does it? <laughs> you forgot to buy me a Christmas present. What are you talking about? I bought you one last year, didn't I? What? Why bought you that tortoise. It fell off it six times. <laughs> Eric and Ernie at 8.30. At 9.30, this is your life. Eamon won't be coming down the chimney, but what surprise awaits our Christmas mystery guest? While at 10, we're trading Rod Hull and Emu the Janet Brown way. Now, 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 I tell you what, now, look me straight in the face, you see? Not you! <laughs> Not you! I mean you! <laughs> Christmas comedy with Janet Brown and company. While after the news at 10.40, a touch of class with George Siegel and Glenda Jackson. Buenos dias, senores, senores. Another beautiful day on the Costa del Sol. Today we have with oh, pleasure a choice of three. Fun and games and a touch of class. And a great lineup of entertainment this Christmas Day here on ITV. Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> you've got a cold. I know, with a sore throat. You need mentholiptus. You need mentholiptus. Oh, oh. You need mentholiptus because it has menthol to help clear a stuffy nose and eucalyptus to help ease a sore throat. I need mentholiptus. I need mentholiptus. <laughs> and for my next trick... Mentholiptus works two ways to help relieve your cold. These days, planning your holidays... How about America, Dad? No. ...means planning your savings. At Nationwide Building Society, we'll make your savings really grow. Hello. With a Nationwide Share account, your money earns high interest and it's secure. You can put in what you like, when you like, and withdraw it easily, whenever you need it. We've decided. Mallorca. No matter why you save, it pays to decide Nationwide. There's a branch near you. Come in and see us soon. The mountains of Manhattan and halfway to the summit our intrepid climber is stuck for lunch. No going up and no popping down to that little hamburger stand on 35th Street. So he turns to Heinz beef and vegetable big soup. A soup he can sink his teeth into. Those big chunks of meat and veg make it almost a meal in itself. And it's all he needs to see him through to dinner in the rooftop restaurant. Can't serve you without a tie, sir. Heinz Big Soup. Big enough to see you through. Hey, Meadow! Right turn, Clyde. Clint and Clyde are back. See them in any which way you can. Certificate AA. Still in the West End and at a cinema near you now. It'll knock you out. The biggest furnishing sale in Europe is at UK Olympia. Because now, UK opens the famous Empire Hall at Olympia. UK at Bow, East London, is Britain's biggest furnishing store. But now, UK at Olympia is bigger than anything in Europe. The biggest furnishing store you've ever seen. The carpet department alone is breathtaking. Altogether, you've got the biggest choice of furnishing in Europe. The most dazzling international collection of furniture brought together from every corner of the world to give you the greatest choice you've ever known. It's like 50 furniture stores rolled into one. The opening sale prices right through the store will amaze you. Go to Europe's biggest furnishing sale at Olympia West London or Bow East London. You get the biggest choice in Europe at the UK sale. The headmaster's study where six of the very best are about to be administered to this snivelling little tick. We asked the wretch, are these sharps extra strong mints? Actually minty enough to take your mind off things? Enjoying it, Sonny? Oh, rather, sir, they're so minty. It makes one positively glow all over. Yes, sharps, extra strong mints. Minty enough to take your mind off things. Take a Laker holiday this summer to the USA. Laker have a wonderful selection of top quality, low cost holidays to choose from. Make it Laker to the USA. See your travel agent. Don't forget a five minutes time in the Christmas pantomime, but now it's over to ITN and season's wishes to Michael Brunston.
In Iran, the papal nuncio and four Iranian clergymen have seen most of the American hostages for whom Christmas Day is their 418th day in captivity. The nuncio, Archbishop Bonini, and his secretary greeted hostages in separate groups of four or five at a time. Exactly where the meetings took place and the short services which were held at the same time has been kept secret. All the clergymen were blindfolded on their way to the rendezvous point to which they were taken in cars with curtains at the windows. An Iranian government official describing the meetings said that the hostages were all evidently in very good spirits. Archbishop Bonini, who handed over gifts which included warm winter clothing and a gadget to help with exercise, confirmed the official report. Their physical condition was good, said the Archbishop later, and they have very high morale. I really saw no difference from last year. The other American hostages who are Protestants were seen by Iranian clergymen at a separate location. The Archbishop also celebrated Mass with two women hostages, Elizabeth Swift, a political officer at the American Embassy, and Catherine Koob, who was a director of a cultural exchange program. And later he gave them gifts, including books, which prompted a delighted response from both of them. In return, Elizabeth Swift presented the Archbishop with some of the Christmas tree decorations, which they themselves had made. The spiritual leader of the students who first seized the hostages has warned that if America doesn't meet the Iranians' demands for their release, the hostages will be put on trial. And in Los Angeles, President-elect Ronald Reagan has made his strongest comments yet about the Americans' continued captivity. Here's another Christmas going by. They're still there in captivity. And uh, I think all of us down deep inside have an anger also at the idea that their captors today are still making demands on us for their return when their captors are nothing better than criminals and kidnappers who have violated international law totally in taking these innocent people and holding them this long. In Washington, the lights on the national Christmas tree were turned on for 417 seconds last night to mark the hostages' captivity. The tree had previously been kept dark, but the hostages' families asked that it should be lit up. At home, the Queen and other members of the royal family are celebrating Christmas at Windsor, where they went to morning service at St George's Chapel. In her Christmas message, the Queen concentrated on the theme of service to others. Britain was facing grave problems, she said. It would be people's unselfishness that would see us through. In difficult times, we may be tempted to find excuses for self-indulgence and to wash our hands of responsibility. Christmas stands for the opposite. The wise men and the shepherds remind us that it is not enough simply to do our jobs. We need to go out and look for opportunities to help those less fortunate than ourselves, even if that service demands sacrifice. The Archbishop of Canterbury's Christmas sermon was also on the serious problems facing the country. But Dr. Runcie told morning service at Canterbury Cathedral that problems were made worse by class resentment and distrust. The power of Christmas, he said, should not be despised. It could melt the hard-hearted. Hardness of heart, the setting of our attitudes as hard as concrete, will cripple us if we don't find a cure. Yesterday, we were given a little hope for our Christian friends in prison in Iran. Christmas encourages us to believe that something small and human and good can break through any hardness of heart in ourselves or others. And in Rome, Pope John Paul compared the newborn Christ child with the thousands made homeless by the Italian earthquake. From the balcony above the main door of St. Peter's, he blessed a crowd of 80,000 and went on to wish the world a merry and peaceful Christmas in more than 40 languages. The expression in English, a blessed Christmas, May the peace of Christ be with you all. The Christmas Mass was broadcast in Poland for the first time today since the Second World War when the country came under communist control. 
The radio broadcast from the cathedral in Krakow was one of the concessions agreed by the government to settle the wave of strikes which broke out during the summer. The veteran comedian Fred Emney has died in hospital. He was 80. At one time, Emney weighed 20 stone. He smoked huge cigars and he wore a monocle. It was once said of him, there are three things to see in London, St Paul's, Westminster Abbey and Fred Emney. And the Israeli army said that it killed five Palestinians near the border with Lebanon early today. The army said the men were guerrillas and were caught near the border town in Rosh Hanikra trying to infiltrate into Israel. That's it for now. I hope you enjoy the rest of Christmas Day. I'll be back at half past ten. And your Christmas weather prospects. Clear periods tonight, also a few isolated showers, which may be wintry in places. The wind moderate westerly tomorrow, there may be one or two isolated showers also, but most places will be dry with sunny periods, with a moderate to fresh northwesterly wind. Minimum temperature tonight, minus one degree centigrade. Maximum tomorrow, six degrees centigrade. To test the new Citroen GSA Special, we couldn't find a road dangerous enough. So we built our own. Just yards from the cliff edge, the driver will actually explode the front tire. It'll be too late to brake. To stay alive, you'll have to steer. The new low-priced Citroen GSA. It's cut the cost of living. The big one. The Texas big sale, big selections, big savings if you buy now. Save two pounds on big five liter cans of Berger Brilliant White Vinyl Matte and Silk, four ninety nine. Save fifty pounds on this complete bathroom suite, one hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. Save two pounds on these crystal ceramic tiles, three ninety nine for twenty five. Save four pounds on this wall unit, only twelve ninety nine. Save big, think big at the Texas big sale. <laughs> 